Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to discuss change of scale property for Laplace transform. So first here we will write down statement of this property. Yes, if we have one function f of t and we know it's Laplace, this is f of s, right? Then if we change the scale of this variable that means if we change the variable t from this a t where a is constant and if we find its laplace then its laplace is given by this is 1 upon a f of s by a right where this f of s is the laplace of this f of t right now we have to prove this statement so yes what we have given yes we have given this laplace of f of t is given by this f of s and we know we can find its laplace this is by using this definition yes this is e raised to minus st f of t right yes this is the definition of laplace transform here we have this is f of s right Yes, this f of s is the Laplace of this f of t. Now, we have to find the Laplace of this f of a t, right? So, we have to apply Laplace transform definition on this f of a t. So, here we have, this is by definition, yes, here we have, this is Laplace of this f of a t. This is given by, yes, 0 to infinity e raised to minus st yes we have to change this f of t by f of a t right so here we have this is f of a t yes this integration with respect to t right now yes what we have to do here we have to put a t as another variable so yes put this a t is equals to another variable x right so here we have this is t is equals to this is x by a right and value of dt is here this is yes this is 1 upon a this is dx yes we got this is differentiating right yes now yes we want the limit right yes when we have t is equals to 0 to infinity yes yes when we put here t is equals to 0 we get here x is equals to 0 when we put t is equals to infinity we get x is equals to infinity that means x changes to this is 0 to infinity yes this is now what we got here this is laplace of f of a t yes this is here we have integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st. So here we have find t is equals to this x by a right. So here we have this is minus s t value of t this is x by a right. And we have substitute a t is equals to x. So here we have this is f of x and value of dt is here we have find this is 1 upon a into dx okay now yes we can check that here we have yes this integration with respect to x that means this a is constant so we have to take this 1 upon a this is outside the integral so here we have this integral yes this integration with respect to x so here we take this is s by a this is constant we have to write this is as and this is e raised to minus s by a into x this is f of x dx right yes now yes check this integral what we have here yes when we have this is integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus f of t dt yes we have to write this is as a f of s yes where s is the coefficient of this t here right 
same here yes we can check that here we can write this integral as a this is f of s by a yes what is s by a this is the coefficient of this variable x right yes this is same as the definition of laplace yes this is same as this integral right and this is the laplace of this f of x right so yes this is f of s is the laplace of this f of t so here we have this is 1 upon a f of s by a this is the laplace of this f of a t right so here we got this laplace of f of a t this is as a 1 upon a f of s by a so hence here we have proved change of scale property right what is the meaning of this property yes when we have given one laplace f of t this laplace is f of s right then if we change the variable t this is by a t yes where this a is constant yes then laplace of this f of a t we will get this is as a 1 upon a into f of s by a right that means we have changed this s by this is s by a right this is in f of s so we have changed the scale of this variable t right so this is called the change of scale property yes here we have changed the scale of this variable t and we get this new laplace so this is called the change of scale property now we will understand this property by one simple example yes we know that we have laplace of sine t yes this is 1 upon s square plus 1 square so here we have 1 upon s square plus 1 yes in general we know laplace of sine a t right so here we have laplace of sine 3 t yes this is this is 3 upon s square plus 3 square right so here we have this is 3 upon s square plus 9 now yes we will find laplace of sine 3 t by using the change of scale property right so yes we will change the variable t from a t that means we have changed the scale right we have changed the scale of variable right this is we will take this is t by this is thrice t right so here we have taken a is equals to 3 so yes what is the laplace of this is sine of 3t right yes what we have to write this is we have to write by using this property 1 upon a into f of s by a right so here 1 upon a that means 1 upon 3 into f of s by a that means this is the f of s right so what we have to do we have to replace this s by this s by a a is here 3 so here we have yes what is this f of s by 3 that means we have to replace this s by this is s by 3 so here we have s by 3 it's square plus 1 right now when we simplify yes we get here yes this is s square by 9 plus 1 right again this is 1 by 3 yes what is the simplification we can write this is as right now we can take this 9 in numerator so here we have Yes, what we have here, this is 9 upon this is s square plus 9. So, here we will get this is 3 upon s square plus 9. Yes, and what we have, this is Laplace of sine 3t. Yes, what we got here, this is 3 upon s square plus 9. Yes, 
yes which we have find this is here earlier by standard result right so yes this is the use of change of scale property that means when we change the variable from t to this is a t we can find its laplace right that means when we have given one laplace f of a t laplace is this f of s we have changed the variable t to this a t so new laplace is this is 1 upon a into f of s by a right yes so in this way yes try to find out the laplace of this is cos of 4 t yes find the laplace of cos of 4 t this is by change of scale property yes yes try out this is laplace of cos of 4 t by change of scale property so yes we have seen how to use the change of scale property here so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching